do you believe sandeep that a congress aap alliance is feasible for next year's vidhan sabha elections or next year's lok sabha and the vidhan sabha elections of 2025 if you can increase the audio uh, radeep ji has asked something i'm not hearing it okay sandeep can you hear me sandeep can you hear me now ah, yes now i can hear you yeah i can hear you now okay yes. joining us now is sandeep dikshit the senior yeah okay great joining us now is sandeep dikshit the senior congress leader and former delhi mp Sandeep Dikshit, big question mark over a Congress AAP alliance in next year's Lok Sabha elections and possibly even Vidhan Sabha 2025. What is your view? Do you believe such an alliance is feasible? Well, first of all, I, uh, uh, you know, uh, maybe it, all this is coming because of yesterday's uh, Congress meeting on the policy and programs that Congress should have over the next few years. Uh, Uh, i don't think uh, the congress uh, I, i can't really say much about the high command but i, I don't really think the high command has really got down to brass tacks about discussing uh, whether they should have an alliance in delhi if yes with aam aadmi or with whichever else group that there is and if yes to that also then what would be the kind of decision so i think your question is a little premature you know it, uh, unfortunately some uh, you know i think rather uh, uh, you know i said unthought of statements came on behalf of aam aadmi and others to unnecessarily muddy the waters uh, I, you know my opinion as far as uh, what i think of the aam aadmi and the chief minister and others are concerned but let me tell you as far as yesterday's meeting is concerned there was hardly any discussion on the uh, or a possible alliance we spoke much about how to strengthen the party so i think once time comes or maybe a few other meetings are held uh, of the india alliance maybe that's when they really go down to state by state analysis it is then that i think this question will come up but what is your view let's get it clear what is your view on the aam aadmi party alliance the reason i ask you is the fact is that the aam aadmi party and the congress are part of this grand india alliance that was forged last month in bengaluru so what is your view do you believe that the aam aadmi party and the congress is it a desirable alliance for 2024 or not see as far as if you take my personal opinion and this is not uh, the congress party's official position my personal thing is that i don't see any difference in either the secular politics or in the uh, right wing politics or in the economic style or in their attitude towards corruption or towards truth or towards the constitution in which i find aam aadmi party to be any different from the bjp so as far as i am concerned i believe that both are equally the same and if we oppose the bjp then there is uh, according to me no reason why we should have any truck with the party like the aam aadmi however i mean all parties change all parties reform and this i am only saying as a matter of hope i am not i'm quite sure this won't happen and we'll see when the time comes there have been parties of people who've kind of reformed themselves the shiv sena has done that uh, you know there was a time if you remember the dmk and the congress were the biggest logger heads now we are the greatest of friend so maybe if the aam aadmi party however unreliable i believe they are if they truly uh, give indications to the contrary if they stop being a b team of the bjp if they stop being what bjp always wants them to be then maybe the congress high command can think of an alliance and maybe you know even a person like me would soften at least our personal stand uh, but that is my personal stand and i don't think we should really go in for this alliance however as i said if they if they think a change uh, is happening in the aam aadmi party and they do so, show some signs of that then maybe we can consider it but the the thinking seems to be at least within a section of your leadership that aap plus congress would pose a formidable challenge to what the congress seems to believe is their prime goal in 2024 ousting the modi led bjp now you are saying you see no difference between aap and bjp and that is where the problem lies who is the congress's enemy number 1 at the moment is it what is your target number 1 removing prime minister modi fighting against him as a joint alliance or in your view strengthening the congress party the fact is sandeep dikshit in recent elections the aap has done much better than the congress in delhi so what 
It doesn't mean you sleep with the enemy. It, you know, if you remember in the year 1977, uh, when everybody wanted to forge an alliance against Mrs. Gandhi, that is the when the Jan, then Janata Party gave a kind of legitimacy to the BJP. Uh, then then Jansang, the Jansang which was supposed to be, uh, you know, I'm sorry, I don't want to use this word. It's it's not a, uh, you know, very nice word, but almost like an untouchable party for many, became a one. The people came into uh, prominence, and you gave a place to a party which should never have got a national position. So according to me, you know, are we doing something like that to a party that in the future will become dangerous to India's polity and its constitution? That's my biggest worry. I mean, otherwise, you can always say that you know, in any case, I, you know, five or six or seven seats of Delhi, uh, uh, the, the ultimately, if it's a matter of two or three seats in election, even these seats would matter. But my firm conviction is, uh, that in this kind of a thing, if we compromise uh, in a state like Delhi with the Aam Aadmi Party, we may be doing a long-term damage, in fact, more damage to the Congress than would otherwise happen. The, this party has consciously, its leader has consciously, very clearly damaged the Congress and its reputation. The kind of filth and vile uh, allegations. And remember, not a single one, forget being proved, is even been taken to the courts for investigation or even an investigation has been put against them. The wild number of allegations Kejriwal put against thousands and hundreds of our leaders. Not single one. So for a person who's come from a background like this, should we succumb to the fact that immediately we may need him in a marginal position somewhere? I personally don't think so. But the fact again, Sandeep Dixit, I repeat, this is that the AMRB party today has a government in Punjab. The AMRB party has dominated Delhi politics, at least at the Vidhan Sabha level. The AMRB party showed that it could grow in some areas of Gujarat as well. Uh, when they seem to be part of your India alliance, and they've made it very clear that their prime target is to uh, fight the BJP, on what basis are you calling them the B team of the BJP? or suggesting that the Aam Aadmi Party will eventually end up destroying the Congress. I mean, that's really the question. Where is your animus well, against uh, the uh, Aam coming if, from if, if when they claim they are ready to join the India Alliance and take on the BJP? Well, they claim, they claim the, in, everybody in the opposition was correct. Did any of that charge come true? So what they claim, according to me, is scrap. I mean, so don't give me the fact what they claim. They have claimed thousands of things. You know, they claim that they have, would have transformed mm -hmm. Delhi. So forget that, you know. Just because they claim something, it doesn't mean it becomes the truth. While to many, you know, uh, they may be the epitome of, of truth. So I don't care a damn about what they say. In Gujarat, I was there for almost the entire pe period. The, mm -hmm. There was hardly any statement of Arvind Kejriwal or his people against the BJP. They were constantly and constantly attacking the Congress. So in, in BJP, in, in Gujarat, if you really look at it, their only target was to reduce Congress's vote, not reduce the BJP's vote. Same, similarly, in Rajasthan or Madhya Pradesh, look at Karnataka. The day our government comes, it comes up with some reforms or, or you know, some subsidy issues on, mm -hmm. on, on electricity. The very next day, the Aam Aadmi Party in Karnataka and their chief minister here attacks the Congress. So have you seen this kind of attack uh, uh, you know, against the BJP governments in Madhya Pradesh? or against the BJP governments in other states? No, it has always been targeted, it has always been carefully done, it has always been strategized. So as far as I'm concerned, their only role and only single role is to weaken and ultimately destroy the Congress wherever it is possible for the Aam Aadmi Party to do so.